Have you ever ran through a cave system without torches and then you came back through later on and realized you missed a ton of ore, including diamonds? It is absolutely infuriating. Well, today I am gonna show you how to get Fulbright on Minecraft. It is one of the best things to use for finding diamonds in your single player world. It is absolutely amazing, so you can actually see what's going on during caves, so you don't have to worry about those pesky torches. I mean, come on, Mojang. There's mods already out there where I can hold a torch and it just brightens the whole area. Why can't we have it? Okay, see this is what I'm telling you guys. Literally, with help Fulbright, it is absolutely insane. They just came out of the dark abyss and they are trying to kill me. Oh my goodness, can we get them blow up the, the zombies? Oh. oh my goodness, guys. See, this is what I'm saying. Without Fulbright, it is absolutely insane to do anything without it. So, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with Fulbright on. Boom, look at that. We can see everything now. This whole area was just completely dark, and now we can actually see, which is amazing. We can actually run through these caves without getting eaten or stabbed or poked or blown up, for example. Come here. Let's blow up the zombie. Come on. Come on, blue. I'm going to do it. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, we can actually see everything clear as day, and yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, it did take a while to figure out this because I had to search around. This isn't a texture pack or a shader pack or anything like that. It actually is a more, I, I would go on the lines of more of like an add-on. So technically, it just uses a, a infinite night vision potion, which is kind of interesting. See, like I have the milk, so if I were to turn off the add-on, I'll have to drink the milk to actually get it going. But do make sure to stay at the very end because there is a tricky step to getting this all set up because, I, I, I mean, it, it, I guess some people might be able to figure it out, but it does get a little confusing. Anyways, with all that said, let's go ahead and flip over to my other screen so we can actually see how to get this downloaded on your computer and then get it imported into your Minecraft. Let's go ahead and, oh, oh wait a minute. I think we have a duel here. Wah, come on, mate. <laughs> let's fight it out. Okay, that was... That was so awful. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I will leave this link in the description down below, but this is just the Fulbright MC pack. All you gotta do is just click on it and it'll give you a download. Just click on the download and when it pops up down here, just hit, just click on it and it'll open up in your Minecraft. Do make sure your Minecraft is open so you can go ahead and see it import. Um, when I, I'll go ahead and hop over into my Minecraft and I'll show what that'll look like. Okay, so I am on Minecraft right now. Uh, let me go actually go to the main screen. Um, so when you're on your mi main screen of the top, it'll show imported. And once you get it imported, it'll be in your game. Now, a lot of people will go to settings here and then scroll down and in global resources, like I said, it's not a global resource or a shader pack or anything of that nature. Um, what you'll have to do, you can do this on any world, like uh, Pokemon, where's my Pokemon world here? Um, I could go down and I could go to behavior packs and I can turn this on. Um, right here, I can just go ahead and activate it. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new world. So let me go ahead and create a new world here. Um, uh, we're gonna name it Steve uh, Chicken. I don't know. S Steve Chicken is his name. Uh, we'll go ahead and put ourselves in creative just so we don't have to worry about mobs and such. And then down here, you gotta scroll down to behavior packs. Click on behavior packs. And then right over here, you just wanna hit activate on night vision. Like I said, it literally is just a infinite night potion. It just straight up is that. Um, so if you do ever take it off, just make sure you have a bucket of milk so you can drink that to get rid of the effect if you ever need to take it off. So let's go ahead and create the world and load it up and we should be able to see it working in all its glory. Magically take us to the point where we see a cave. Boom, we are inside a cave now. I don't know how that happened. Definitely don't know how. As you can see, it is absolutely bright in here. Um, straight up, we can see everything. It's super, super nice, super clean. Again, it's just literally a night vision potion, which is like the best thing I've found so far. But oh my goodness, this goes down deep. Man, look at that. As you can see, you can see literally everything. Oh my goodness, this goes so far down. What on earth? We can see all of the ores down here, which is just crazy. Holy cow. Oh my goodness here. Oh, oh. look at that, guys. <laughs> that is awesome. That is sick. All right, yeah, so we can see some lapis, redstone. It is super, super handy. Definitely recommend trying this out. 
especially in your single world you could do a lot and figure out where a lot of ores are so yeah anyways i do hope this video did help you out if it did please make sure to hit the subscribe button we're trying to hit 1k on the channel anyways thank you for stopping by and i'll see you next time peace